has three times the experience of Markham, but Markham may have three times the punching power. Let's see. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. It's scheduled for three four-minute rounds. Markham trying to stay perfect in the IFL. Wisniewski knows what a big shot this is for him. A lot of pro experience, but his IFL debut. But it's Wisniewski who connected first with the right hand. I'm a little surprised about that. One thing that troubles me about Wisniewski is he's got his chin up high in the air. That's not going to be good against Rory Markham. Rory Markham may, as far as technique, be the best boxer in the IFL. He's got two hands of stone, came in a, from a karate background, then really excelled at boxing before he came in under the guidance of Pat Militich and really rounded out his game. Markham won his last fight, a TKO of Marcelo Azevedo to help give the Silverbacks a needed win in that hard-fought first-round victory over the Pitbulls from New York. Frankly, I'm surprised that Wisniewski is not shying away from the stand-up battle with Markham. Wisniewski, with a ton of experience, he actually faked a ID, an ID to become a fighter when he was 15. You had to be 16, but he got in some amateur events in Iowa. Pat Militich, the coach of the Silverbacks, was one of the referees in some of his earlier amateur fights. Wisniewski executed a simple bear hug takedown there and is now on the half guard of Markham, who's on the bottom. We're going to see if Wisniewski can assert some jiu-jitsu because in the standing mode, it, it, your forearm back in it, front it wasn't of dominated by Markham. There you go. Now move your hips. Move your hips. He caught her right there. Did Markham. There you go. Control inside. There you go. But in doing so, he got full guard position. Now I can put the heels on hips, push Keith back, and get to standing again. And as Markham said earlier, and he's told us several times, he's willing to take the punch to give one. He feels that confident in his punching ability. And he can take a shot. The question is, can Keith deliver one? Wisniewski, we talked about training hard two weeks for this. He trains all year round but specifically to get in the ring with the caliber of a Markham. He's really gone at it for two weeks. His full-time job is that of an iron worker, and he owns a gym in Portage, Indiana with his brother, Justin. Okay, we saw an interesting situation happen in that Wisniewski passed the guard into side Stop, mount. Move, move, He's now in side control. Move, move. It's right here, it's right here. Scoot, 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 scoot. Here we go, here we go. Okay, okay. ready? Referee One, Sean two, three, Gregory five. moving them away from the ropes. And now back to action. And Wisniewski, impressive here in the first round, Stephen. One minute. Yeah, because he's taking the fight out of Markham's element push, for the most push, part. Push. Although push. Markham does have full guard again. And he's using the heels on hips to try and push Keith away so he can't land any of that ground and pound coming from up top. Wisniewski being extremely patient here doesn't mind being the full guard for Markham at the moment. And he's landing little chopping shots now and then. He's going to pass the guard again, though. Markham. Would love to be on his feet. You know that. That is his style. We'll see how it plays out here in the last 30 seconds of this first round. As he gets a kick in. And Sean Gregory, the referee, moves in quickly. The IFL rules state that you cannot okay. kick the downed okay. opponent, and the downed opponent is anyone that has anything other than the heels of their feet on the floor, meaning if even one knee is touching the floor, let alone a hand or the other knee, you are a downed opponent. Wisniewski, impressive here in the first round, giving Markham all he wants. We get ready for the third and final round. Keith Wisniewski against Rory Markham. Markham unbeaten for the Silverbacks in the yellow, trying to go to 4-0 and put his team up 2-0 and on the evening. Wisniewski taking this fight on two weeks' notice, but he has 31 pro fights, and he has Markham off his rhythm tonight. Wisniewski is just too elusive standing up for Markham at the moment. And here we go. He trips him again. Yeah. Wisniewski has done it three straight rounds. And you would have to wonder, Stephen, after Pawaszewski, who we thought dominated the three rounds against Menjivar, had to settle for a split decision if Rory Markham wants this to go to the judges. 
I think most people thought that Markham was going to walk right through Wisniewski, and he hasn't done anything of the sort. He's got the push back there with the heels, but Wisniewski just comes right back on him. Markham is not going to win on his back in this fight. And Keith Wisniewski proving to be more than a worthy opponent in this one. But again, we talked about that pro experience, and he said himself, Wisniewski, I've had countless amateur fights. He's been doing it since he was 15 years old. So 10 years worth of amateur and pro fights. He puts him up around 100 fights, he would guess, in his career. For more information on the International Fight League, including these fighters you're seeing now, and team info, visit IFL.TV. One thing we talked about before this fight earlier, uh, Rory Markham with a 9-1 record, but he had that one loss to another guy that wasn't highly touted you were talking about, Stephen. I was saying the same thing, because Rory, maybe if he doesn't feel threatened in a, in a way of getting busted up like this. Knee, Keith, knee! Knee! Knee the body! Knee the body, Keith! Hey! Beautiful! And he followed the orders of Carlos Newton. And he misses with the right. Rory Markham may be a fighter like Evander Holyfield, and unless he eats about 50 shots to the head, he doesn't get into second gear. He needs to shift to about fifth right now with a minute and a half left in this fight. Well, they blocked the takedown finally. Now we've got Wisniewski, Wisniewski, pardon me, on his back. Rory Markham wisely not having any of that. Stand back up. That is his game. That's what he has to do to try to win this fight. Wisniewski looks a little winded here in round number three. Wisniewski dives in and gets it. I like that sprawl, though, by Markham. Yeah. Beautiful takedown defense. Good defense by Markham. That time, Markham was able to put on the D. Now does he have any offense left? Less than a minute in this fight. I think he's going to need to get a knockdown at least. Wisniewski is shooting for the takedown because he's tired. He doesn't want to stay on the outside because he knows he's going to catch one of those right hands by Markham. And Markham knows, as he says, stand up. He does not want to have to be in a sprawling defense with 38 seconds to go. Markham needs a knockout here, I believe. Wisniewski diving in again. You see the experience of Wisniewski. He knows he's not going to stand up if he doesn't have to with 20 seconds to go in a fight that I think he feels comfortable with, that he has the lead. Wisniewski should shoot for another takedown by another 5-10 seconds because to be out here on the outside like this, he could get caught by the right hand. Could this be one of the biggest surprises in the young history of the IFL? Wisniewski defeating Markham. It's going to the judges to decide it. That was after the bell. That shot was after the bell. When we return, did Keith Wisniewski on two weeks training come in and upset Rory Markham? We'll have the judge's decision. You're watching the IFL on FSN. Keith Wisniewski has put on a show and possibly pulled off an upset of Rory Markham. It's gone to the judges with the decision. With the announcement, let's go to ring announcer Tim Hughes. One judge scored the fight 29-28. Dragons. Another judge, 29 28 Silverbacks. The third judge, an even draw. We go one more round. Well, it had never happened before in the International Fight League, and to the delight of this crowd in Portland, Oregon, they will see one more round between Rory Markham and Keith Wisniewski. Never. You're a warrior in here. That's why you're in this room. You're a warrior. No, I am. <laughs> For the first time in International Fight League history, overtime schedule. A draw after three rounds between Keith Wisniewski, who has stunned everyone here by coming in on two weeks' notice, even with all that experience that he has, and he takes Rory Markham to the max. Took him to the max indeed. Hey, Keith.
And now coming back in is Wisniewski. And that is the fight. We're going to have the official decision here. It was scheduled to go to overtime, but it isn't.